Hello everyone and welcome back to High Mathematics. In this video we are going to solve this interesting algebra problem. We have m to the 9th power plus m to the 6th power equal to 36 and we need to find our m right here. How can we solve this interesting interesting equation? So first of all I see that 9 and 6 is really good really good powers because we can write this m to the 9th power and m to the 6th power in a different way. We can write this m to the 9th power as m cubed to the third power, so s cube, and this one m to the sixth power as m cube as well to the to the second power equal to 36. So we hope you understand this step. We just write this 9 and 6 power in another way. Because if we need, if we want to get this this expression, we just multiply this power. So this is this is the same, nothing change. But right now as you can see m cube right here I see and m cube as well I see right here. So we can use a substitution, so let m cube equal to equal to t. So let's use this substitution. So what we'll have? As a result, right here we will have t but t cube because we have third power. So we will have t cube plus right here t square plus t square. And I bring this 36 on the left hand side, minus 36 equal to zero. So as you can see from this ninth power equation, we will have third power cube equation. So we need to solve this cube equation at first. How can we solve it? I want to show you a really good approach because 36 is really good, really good number. We can find factors of this 36 factors. We will have plus minus one at first, plus minus two, plus minus three, and a lot of factors. But let's check at first positive one, two, three at first. Maybe we'll, we will find we will find our roots. So if t equal to 1, what we will have? We will have 1 plus 1 and minus 36, which is not equal to 0, so this factor is not good for us. Well, let's go next. We will have t equal to 2. What we will have? 8 plus 4 and minus 36 equal to, equal to 0, which is not equal to 0, of course, because right here we will have not the correct, correct expression t equal to 3. Let's find t equal to 3. t cube we will have 27 plus 9 and minus 36. And if you add this expression we will have 36 minus 36 equal to 0. So as you can see we find our one factor. So t minus 3 will be our factor. So t minus 3 will be our factor. And we need to find another parenthesis and equal to 0. So this is our one really good factor one factor and we need to find another parenthesis. How can you find another parenthesis? I want to show you a really good approach. How can you do this? I write this expression on the on the right hand side from here and let's find another another factor. We have this expression t cube minus t square and plus t square and minus 36 equal to equal to zero. How can we find a factor? Take a look. We need to factor out t minus 3 from here but right here we have t cube if we write this t cube minus 3t square and plus 4t square and if we write minus 12t and plus 12t and minus 36 equal to 0. Why I write this? Because right here minus 3t square and plus 4t square equal to t square. So nothing changed. So this is the same as right here. And why I write this? Because right here equal to 0 equal to 0, we don't have uh, with t, so this is equal to 0, nothing changed. But right now we can factor out t minus 3. Take a look, t cube and minus 3t square. If we factor out t square, we will have t minus 3. If we factor out plus 4t from here, we will have t minus 3. And the last step, if we factor out 12 from the last two elements, we will have t minus 3. So I hope you understand this step. This is a really good approach. How can we create a factor? If it's possible, of course, t minus 3 will have t minus 3 and t minus 3 right here. So we need to factor out this t minus 3. So we'll have t minus 3 and the second parenthesis t square plus 4t and plus 12. So t square plus 4t and plus, plus 12 equal to 0. So finally we factor this, this expression. We have t minus 3 in the first parenthesis and a quadratic equation in the second parenthesis. So let's find the first root t minus 3 equal to 0, so t minus 3 equal to 0 and t equal to equal to 3. 
And let's find from here, let's find our roots. We will have t square plus 40 and plus 12, plus 12 equal to 0. And we need to find our t second and t third, of course. We will know the coefficient a, b, c, and d. So we will have t equal to, I plug in all of these elements real quick, we will have minus b minus 4 plus minus square root b square minus 4ac, so b square 16 minus 4 times a times 12. And of course over over 2. And we can easily simplify this because right here we'll have a negative a negative uh, z square root, so we'll have complex roots. We'll have minus 4 plus minus and in our square root sign we'll have minus 32 as you can see and over over 2. Moreover, we can simplify this a little bit. We can write this minus 4 plus minus square root of 32 as minus 4 plus minus i square root of 32 over 2. And moreover, we can divide it by, by parts at this, by this, by this 2. Right here we'll have minus 2 because we divide minus 4 by 2. And plus minus i square root of 32 and over 2. So this is our complex roots right here. So as you can see we find these two complex roots. But this is roots using using t. So if you're interested in this you can easily find a root with x, root with m, because right here m cube equal to t and you will find three more roots or more roots uh, because we have plus minus with 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 your m and you will have you will have your roots with m. But right here we have t equal to 3. And we will have final equation because my m cube equal to t. We will have m cube, m cube equal to t, but t equal to 3. So we will have that m cube equal to 3 and m equal to cube's root of 3. And this is our one and only root in ring in real numbers. So this is one and only root. Let's check this root. Maybe this root goes wrong, so we will have m to the ninth power plus m to the sixth power equal to 36. And let's check, let's check, let's prove, prove our root. We will have m equal to cubes root, cubes root of 3. And let's check this, let's check this root. What we will have? We will have cubes root of 3 to the ninth power plus cubes root of 3 to the 6th power equal to 36. And how can we simplify this? Right here we'll have 3 to the power 1 third. We can write it as 3 to the power 1 third and of course raised to the ninth power. And as well right here, 3 to the power 1 third and to the 6th power equal to 36. As you can see right here, we multiply 1 third by 9, we will have 3, so we will have 3 cube and plus 3 to the power 1 third to the power 6, we will have 3 square, so plus 3 square equal to 36, which is, which is correct, so our root is, our root is good. So our answer, our answer, our answer, m equal to cubes root of 3. And this is our final answer. In real numbers, of course. If you're interested in complex number, you need to solve this equation. First one with the plus sign and second with the minus sign. So if you still have any question, write your question in comment, write your suggestion in comment. It will be really nice to read it. And of course, subscribe for more videos if you want to see more videos using these, using these problems. So let's, let's Solve this real quick at, at first. Firstly, we change 9 power to the third power to the third power. Really good cube equation. Secondly, we find factors, because this is a really good approach to find at first these factors. t equal to 1 is not good, t equal to 2 is not good, t equal to 3 is good for us, so t minus 3 is our factor. The next step, we need to create t minus 3 near these elements. How can we do this? Of course, using this using this approach. I hope you understand this approach and why I write this like that. Because we need to factor out t minus 3 from here. t minus 3, second parenthesis quadratic equation, product, it's really good to, 
to find our t because we have a product. So first one equal to zero and the second equal to zero. Two complex roots on the right hand side and one real number root in on the left hand side, which is which is good for us. If you're interested in a complex number, you can easily you can easily find these roots and you will have a lot of complex roots right here. As you can see, because with the plus sign, we will have cube cube equation and with the minus sign you will have cube equation so a lot of complex roots we will have on the right hand side but on the left hand side we will have one and only root in real number so I hope you you understand this explanation so thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos